Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am doing today an updated luxury handbag collection. I love, love beautiful bags of the craftsmanship. So today I wanted to show you my newest additions for the past year and a half or so. I'm gonna start with this one because I think this one is probably the oldest one in my collection since the last video that I shot. This is a classic Chanel. I am a Chanel girl all the way. When I saw this color and it was about two years ago i think we actually had a vlog because gary surprised me with this one after i called him and said that i saw a bag that i love that i'm gonna go buy he went ahead and bought it for me which is really nice he sent me a text message with a picture of this chanel bag i'm like yeah it's nice let's think about it so while she's out i went into the chanel store and i just grabbed it This bag is uh, just kind of a classic shape that I go for. I wear it quite a bit and I actually find that this green specifically is a very neutral color that actually works with a lot of the shades in my closet. The latest and greatest and a very big change in my love for Chanel is buying the Chanel 19 bag. So I've always been a girl of the classic Chanel. I love it. I think it stands the test of time. I found that this new style of Chanel is actually here to stay. So the Chanel 19 they introduced a couple of years ago and I remember that I waited a couple of seasons to see if it's gonna go away, if it's just like a trendy bag or if it's gonna stay. And to my surprise, it did stay. So I got this blue one. This is the medium. It looks a little bit big, but it's actually the medium. There's a larger size and then a smaller size. The space it has is absolutely amazing. I get to put everything I need in here and not be worried about choosing between my ID or lipstick. The latest addition to my Chanel collection is this Chanel 19, but in yellow. I can't explain it. To me, yellow is the new green and green is the new black. So that evolution that happened to me with time where I started stepping outside of my comfort zone with colors, especially with accessories, and really relying on accessories to elevate my outfit, I wanted to bring something that's like a pop of color so that's what really made me want to get a yellow one but something that is a little bit more of a mellow yellow so when i went into the boutique i saw actually a lot of different shades of yellow and when i saw this one i was like this is it the next one is a bottega bonetta so actually my first bottega purchase was this uh cream pinkish color Bottega. I've had it for about a year at least now. I've been wearing it a lot, a lot, a lot. Pros, it looks chic, it looks gorgeous. The leather is, it's sensitive, but not too sensitive. I mean, the fact that I don't have any stains on it is actually remarkable. So when I went to the boutique in Toronto, I actually found the famous Bottega weaving. So when I saw this, I loved that it has a little bit of something different. I like that it brought a little bit more dimension into the outfits and I wear it a lot. Next one is uh, this Louis Vuitton and when I saw this one I just couldn't resist. It's so so cute. This one you have to choose between like a wallet, a credit card, a lipstick. I usually put a credit card and a lipstick here. Obviously nothing else will fit like a phone. Forget about it. I feel like you'll even want to have a bag bag if you go somewhere this just stays on as part of the outfit but you definitely have to have a bag with you if you need stuff to be carried in this is one of the latest additions to my closet actually this is the fendi first and i feel like this is fendi's interpretation of the pouch bag that everyone has been loving and wearing i have to say i love it it looks completely different it has more of like the fendi vibe to it it feels more luxurious with you see the kind of the hardware and the f here so very noticeable this was actually gifted to me i worked with fendi and i was lucky enough to get this beautiful bag i love that i got it in this camel color this is something that i've been already wearing a few times 
since I got it. I love the way it looks. Beautiful, beautiful. I also got really lucky and I feel very blessed and grateful. They also sent me this mini version of the first bag and I love it. You can either attach it to the bag itself or you can wear it on its own. It comes with this like beautiful chain that you can adjust and just kind of wear it as a little a little lady purse isn't it cute okay and now we are moving to the brand that i feel i've been wearing a lot in the past year year and a half christian dior has really stepped it up i'm gonna start with the first one and this is the bobby bag i feel like this one was the one who just really made me love just the new designs in general this is something that i wear during the day i love the design i love how clean it is i love how much space it has in it it has suede inside i find that although this is kind of an updated bag and something that's much more current i find that it's not as trendy like to me it's a bag that someone could have worn in the 70s in the 90s and thousands and now i wear it and i know that i've wear it for a very long time i think that the first dior bag that i bought though was this one so this bag i actually bought because this was when dior just started really shooting up so when i saw this one i knew i want to get it this one i don't wear a lot i do find that i wear it more during the winter fall seasons uh, because it kind of has a little bit more of first of all like a darker look to it and also when you wear a lot of like blacks or grays that is all solid I find that popping this one with the logo and the pattern looks pretty good I'm super happy with it to be honest with you I don't regret buying it at all so that was kind of my way of getting into Dior and then I was gifted the Bobby um, and I fell in love with it so I went and I got myself the mini bobby when i saw this color i absolutely fell in love i also really like the size this is more of a night out kind of size but then i decided that i wanted to kind of jazz it up a bit because i already had this beautiful camel bobby i wanted to add the strap that i bought separately to create a little bit of a different look to it i really like the design of the strap that gives it a little bit more a little bit something something you know it felt a little bit more original as well uh, because you can choose the strap that you want I started working with Dior my prayers have came true I'm so happy to be working with a heritage brand that I absolutely love and I'm kind of really aligned with the vision and the style that they have I received this little baby that is more of like the classic but in a mini size. This is just like a cute little way to bring a little bit of that classic Dior look into an outfit and I've been loving it. It's like a very like Elle Woods situation, which I never shy away from, you know? And last but not least, uh, this was uh, gifted to me by Dior and I squeaked and squealed and cried a little bit and kind of peed my pants. I got this beautiful, beautiful bag. This is the Medium Lady Delight bag. It is so beautiful. I wish you can see this in real life, the embroidery and the color is so gorgeous. This is definitely an accent bag. This is a bag that's kind of steals the shows, but I just love how unique it is. Something that you definitely don't see around as much. And then you can choose if you wanna just wear it as a handle or use the strap with it. So the one side, the strap says Christian Dior. The other one is embroidered and it's truly like a piece of art in my opinion so this is kind of the latest and greatest for me from Dior and I love her so much these are all the bags that I got in the past two years all of these are investments uh, definitely not something that you know you just just uh, I mean I wish just like every day you wake up and go, oh my god I want to <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any any questions at all and um, I will be happy to answer love you ta-ta